Good morning. Well, welcome to Forest Bake Kitchen. This is like Groundhog Day because um, yesterday I did the exact same recipe, the perfect scone, um, to an invisible audience. Why? Well, because we had a techno meltdown. So just to um, recap, uh, the recipe will be at the bottom of this um, video and I've actually doubled the recipe for today. Um, so there'll be slightly more scones in my recipe as that I'm doing right now. But these are the items that you're going to need. You're going to need um, a bowl, a sieve, a spoon, a spatula, a knife. And I use this to um, roll my dough out on, uh, just so I don't have to um, do it directly on the kitchen surface. So uh, let's go ahead, shall we? Um, so first of all, we're going to sieve the flour, the salt, and the bicarb. Okay, so just do that. So the reason I like to make scones is because they're so simple and generally I've got all the ingredients. They're not fussy, they're not complicated and they go down a treat. So there you've got it, um, the sieved flour. And then I'm going to chop in the um, butter. Okay, so this butter's been in the fridge for a while so it's nice and cold. So I'm just going to chop it up slightly, like so. And I'm going to make a breadcrumb mixture. So in a minute, I'm going to get my hands all messy. We all love to get a bit dirty, don't we, when it comes to baking. And then there's the big clean up afterwards. But the most fun part is making it and then eating it. Right, here we go. So, as you can see, I'm just squeezing the butter in my fingers and rubbing it, rubbing the flour in the butter. Okay, it's a bit of a rigmarole, but we'll get there in the end. So, I'm going to be, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to be making some crystallised flowers. Have you seen how beautiful they can look on cakes? Yes, they're real flowers that have been crystallised and you can eat them. So, if any of you have got any pansies growing in the garden, now's the time to start looking after them. Make sure they've got enough water um, and deadhead if you need to, although I think it's too early in the season to deadhead your pansies. But what you can do is just make sure that they're growing well, look after them, and then in a couple of weeks time, I'm going to demonstrate how you can crystallize your own pansies. And then a day or two after that, you can make some cakes and decorate them with these pansies. So less sugar, more natural, and believe it or not, you can eat them, and they look so beautiful. Um, I discovered making crystallized flowers a couple of years ago, and it's just so enjoyable. Anyway, here we go with this, my scones. So, I've got really good flour with this. You can use um, very ordinary self-raising flour from the shops, um, Sainsbury's, Asda, wherever you go shopping, Little Aldi, we've got quite a choice these days. So we can go shopping. Right, so there you can see it. Okay. So now, here we go, we're going to Throw in the sugar, not much sugar at all, and the lemon juice. And I'm going to just give it a bit of a stir. And 
and then I'm going to pour in the milk. Actually, I'm going to do it all together. So just a stir. And I'm getting a bit of a sticky dough here. slowly coming together. <clears throat> now the beauty of scones is you don't need to knead it and you know like you're making bread. So the tough work is quite minimal. And it's a good idea to put your oven on right at the start. So here we go. And I'm just going to put a bit of flour down. Okay. I'm going to get our dough. There we go. And basically, you don't have to really get your rollers out at all. Look how just pat it down. And I like a nice high scone. So I am going to just do it that high. It's about an inch really. Oh, and here's my tray that I'm going to put these scones on. So I just cut them out. I'm going to have to find someone to give these to today because if I eat them all by myself I'm going to need a new wardrobe at the end of the coronavirus time. <clears throat> so there you go. I think I'm going to be able to get one more scone out of this. I always have a bit of a odd shape one right at the end. Okay. Um, and now I need to paint the egg over the scone just like this. And this gives it a nice glazed look. Do you try this um, at some point? There we go. I'm going to pop these in here. Okay, put the timer on. I've put those in for 14 minutes. Now, this is what I made yesterday and this is what they look like. So here we have a scone. Usually scones are um, best with strawberry jam or fresh strawberries and cream. That's my um, preference. But I don't have strawberry jam today, so I found some rhubarb and ginger jam in my fridge. And this is what I'm going to have later on after I've done some gardening. So here we go, the full scone and there. So I really hope you've enjoyed today's lesson on the perfect scone. Do give it a go and um, let me know how you get on.